Hello and welcome to this quick overview of administration of the new Microfocus LoadRunner Enterprise 2020 performance testing tool. With this release, LoadRunner Enterprise is the new product name for Performance Center. For more in-depth information on what's new in LRE 2020, see the link at the top right hand corner of the landing page, which will take you to the online help. The video is presented from the point of view of the tenant administrator role. LRE 2020 has another role called Site Administrator. There are only a few occasions where you might need to ask for a task to be performed by the Site Administrator role. With this version, there are just two links on the landing page, one to the application itself and one to the administration site. Please note that the tenant parameter in the URL is important. It's needed to direct you to the correct tenant. If you bookmark any links, make sure to include the whole URL. To log in, you enter your credentials and click the login button. You are presented first with the dashboard page, which shows an overview of the state of your tenant, its hosts, its runs, and its license information. On the left, you see different modules available to a tenant administrator. I'll start down here with the projects module. When creating a project, you name it, you specify a host pool to be used by the project, and some limits. You specify a host limit, i.e. the number of controllers and load generators added together. You specify a vuser limit, a concurrent run limit, and a VUD limit. These values apply to all of the tests running concurrently in the project and must be less than or equal to the limits imposed by the license key. These limits allow you to prevent one project from tying up all of the available entitlement. You can click here to assign some users to the project and to give them appropriate roles, but you can also do that later. As you can see, you can also maintain projects. You can activate or deactivate projects, and you can remove projects. Next is the Users module, where you create and manage the users of the tenant. I'll create a new user now and give them a password. You can also give this user tenant administration rights with this checkbox. If not, then this user will be able to log into the LRE application only and not this administration site. Just as we saw that you can assign users to projects when they are created, you can assign projects to users as well. And give them roles within the project as appropriate. In the roles module, there are two built-in roles with fixed permissions, viewer and performance tester. You can create new roles with capabilities in between by basing them on an existing role and by editing the permissions. As you can see, there is fine-grained control over the permissions of a role. You can delete any role except for the two built-in ones. The Time Slots module gives a tenant-wide view of the way that resources have been allocated for future tests by all projects. The administrator can also create a time slot to lock out resources at a certain time for maintenance purposes. The Runs module shows all runs for all projects. This gives an administrator an overall view of activity and allows some maintenance, such as deleting runs, opening the run screen for currently running tests, and so on. Finally, the Reports module provides comprehensive information about the way that LRE is being used. There are reports here grouped by resource utilization and by license usage. The reports offer information broken down in many different ways. 
There's a filter that allows you to select dates and also which projects you'd like to report on. There are other modules available to the tenant administrator. They are used less often. Please see the online help for details. This menu will take you directly to the Help Center and give you help on the screen that you're currently on in Performance Center. Now on to Load Generator Management. For tenant administrators, this is mostly relevant if the injector over the firewall feature is being used. For example, where a Microfocus SaaS customer is setting up an on-premise load generator and configuring it to communicate back to LRE in the cloud through your firewall. As you can see in the host module, a tenant administrator can't create a host directly. Site administrators normally create controllers and load generators. However, a user with the appropriate permissions can create a new load generator directly inside a project. This creates a private load generator which can only be managed in that project, i.e. to delete or otherwise edit the load generator you must return to the project that it was created in. To demonstrate, I'll go back to the landing page and enter the Load Runner Enterprise application itself. I'll log into a project and go to the host module. To create a private load generator, we give it a name, an installation type, a location, and an MI listener. We also create it with a status of unavailable. I do this because I happen to know this physical load generator is not fully configured yet, and it's not actively polling the MI listener in the cloud. If I had tried to create the load generator with a status of operational, I would get an error to that effect. Later, when I've configured the agent on the load generator correctly, I would come back to this screen and use the reconfigure host function, which would check that the load generator is polling successfully, and it will put the status to operational automatically. If you get an error at this point, then check the connectivity of your load generator agent out to the MI listener on port 443 and try again. If a proxy is involved, make sure you contact your proxy team to ask them what might be going on. Note that the new private load generator is created in the same pool that the project is associated with. The load generator will be visible in another project and can be used in tests so long as that project is also using the same host pool. That completes this quick overview of LRE 2020 tenant administration. I hope that it has been of use to you. And if you have any other questions, I can highly recommend the online help. Thank you.